Hey guys, McJeffries here and welcome back to Cities in Motion 2. And today we're back to bus. I have decided, um, because I'm undecided still on the metro, I've decided instead to focus on, if I can find it, here it is, the new bus link. So what's basically going to happen is, these streets here are going to be finished. If I choose the right road. These are going to be finished. Uh, uh, I see what I've done. That no good. Let me try again. Doesn't matter so much back there, but here it is crucial that I get these right. I'm wondering if whoever designed this map decided to stop building the roads where they did because of the fact that this is basically some of the most uneven land. Look at that. That This bit here especially is horrific. I'm going to redo this last bit. That's better. Right, and then this section here Make sure it's relatively level. There, and then there, and there, and there. Yep, no tunnel. Cool. Uh, I guess I'll be doing the same on this bit. Like so. Again, no tunnel. Awesome. And this final section. Oops. The slope of the road is too steep. Does that mean bridge? Not quite. Oh, wow. Look at that. That is a horrific road. We won't be putting buses along there. That's for sure. Do you know what? Actually, at this point, I can't be bothered anymore. Got a tiny bit of bridge there, and that's it. It, you know, life could be worse. And there we've got a tiny bit of bridge. And that's it. Again, life could be worse. Right. Straight line across here, like so. And like that. Uh, there. And there. This one straight across. That one straight across. Bit of a tunnel. That's fine. We'll develop that. And then... Here. Oh, we're out of money. Okay. Let's speed up time a little bit. Might explore getting another loan out as well. Because I think we have the option to take out another loan. What we can do is take out a massive loan, like £350,000, like that. Takes our overall earnings down to a, a measly 128000 but, you know, times are hard. Right, now we're going to build a road straight across, hopefully, straight across all of these. Although maybe not here. How does that look? Eh, yeah, it's okay, I suppose. Oh, that looks horrible. Oh, that's really... That is grotesque. Wow. Look at that. I might just bypass this road, actually. Let's, uh... Let's undo this. I might have to put this road in again. Oh, I cannot believe how horrible that looked. And yet that, that looks fine. I just go back to building these roads in straight lines, you know, because it doesn't seem to have done much harm here, does it? Here, I'm going to go... Oh, 
underneath like that. Just to connect that bit up, because again, look at how horrible that bit looks. So we got this this new part of the city being developed. You can see a rough idea of just what it's going to look like when it's finished. And then all of this is being connected by currently that trolley line. However, the trolley only takes you as far as that new hub that we built. And it, that hub's been sat there like it has been for something like eight episodes now, if that. I think it's time we did something good with that. You can see I'm already messing up these roads, but I'll see if I could do something good to make up for this as well. Right, we'll join that bit up like that. And, you know, that looks a bit better. In fact, that looks a lot better. And then if I do the same on this bit. Like this. We are demolishing quite a few buildings to build this road in, but I think we're actually building some buildings in the process, so it's not all doom and gloom. I like the fact I'm still getting the message saying some ticket prices are too cheap. It sort of it makes me feel good knowing that I'm not overcharging people yet. I'm still rolling around in money, you know. Across there, across there, and then I guess we join up like that. Awesome. And then at this end, uh, we could just draw a straight line across, like. So, and then just go two-way roads here. One there, like that, and one there, like that. There we go. Right, so we have this hub here. People come in on the trolley, as you can see there. Uh, 29 people coming in. They'll get dropped off here. Trolley will leave again, and you know they'll be stuck there, especially if they want to go to somewhere like this house here they'll be stuck. So our solution or my solution is the bus line that I was meant to build many many episodes ago but never quite got round to because I didn't want to build bus lines. That's the honest truth. Uh, we're going to do that now. It's going to connect those up quickly. So we've now got some really ugly roads. Like this one is suddenly on a completely different level to that one for example. All of this is going to be metro as well at one po at some point, but for now, it's going to be just bus. That road looks. I just I'm so tempted to swear. That's how bad that road looks. We will do it again. Better, still not brilliant. Um, let's try and rebuild this one as well. Yeah, it's slightly better. So at least now I can build that. There we go. Slightly better. And then these little bits here, I could probably find a use for them. Those little bridges, little tunnel sections. But you must admit, that looks a lot better now. It's like a whole new suburb of the city, and it's just one small section. Eventually, that's what all of this is going to look like as well, when it finally gets built properly. Uh, in the meantime, what I might do is cut it in half, and then build each half like I have done here. I kind of like this little bit as well, the freedom section, I think I'm going to call it. Just all these wavy roads. Not many cars on them, which... I don't know whether that's a good thing or not, actually. Let's choose this guy here. Has come from a detached house, which is there. And they're going to the library, which is all the way over here. And you can see, actually, the library is served by the monorail, the Tangerine Line. So all we needed was a form of transport that linked that house to the hub. And they would have been able to get on on the public transport instead of having to drive. So we, we kind of missed a trick there, I suppose. 
But you know, that's what this future expansion is all about. Eventually this whole city will be full of all different forms of transport, including water boats, water buses. I've no idea where the water buses are actually going to go yet, but they are going to exist. They'll be useful for linking up like this part of the city here, where you know, a tram might not necessarily be the best way to go about it. So yeah, we got th this work to do. But, like I keep saying, today is the bus episode. So we're going to play some bus stops. And we're going to try and do it so that we're avoiding the one-way system as much as possible. So we'll come out of the hub bit here. And the first thing we can do, I suppose, is do take this one-way system. Let's have a stop there. Uh, but then we're going to go onto this two-way road. And every other block is going to be a stop. Like this. And like that. And then we'll have a little one there. In fact, what I might do is this road. Let's have it as a bus lane like that. We could do that. And then uh, our citizens can come down this street, down this street, and then I suppose they can run back. Or actually they could go along this main road, although that's probably going to be a little too much to ask. Let's, uh, let's change this up slightly. Let's have them stop there and there. And then they can stop there. Skip a block. We'll actually have them stop on this road. And then this road. And then this road again. And then this road. And then back here. Another one there. Uh, and then... I think that'll do for that one, actually. I think that'll do. That's a pretty good route we've got set up there. As a basic out and back route. Now we need some buses. Now, we have some new buses. I think that's a new one. Uh, that's certainly a new one, the Jubilee. And the Comet Sun, that one looks new. And the Roadmaster. Now the Roadmaster is, if anyone here who lives in London or lives near London and knows what the route, um, what they call Route Master, that's right, that's what this is, the Roadmaster. And they're actually pretty decent looking buses. The only downside to them here is I don't think we're going to need that sized bus yet. So they're, what, 1,400. Well, we've got the Jubilees for 1,350. They're bendy buses. So we could buy... Let's start with 15 of these. Like so. Oh, I forgot that was a, a mission com being completed as well. Okay, so we have 15 of these bendy buses. Now we need to, to mark out the route. So we're actually going to go back to my good old friend Google... And it's been so long since I did this. We're on the old shade of blue chart again. Right. What ones haven't we got? We've got Cobalt and we've got Celeste. So, for this one, let's go for Sapphire. The Sapphire line. I've spelt Sapphire wrong. I've put Safi. That's I just can't type today. There's something wrong with me. Alright, sapphire line. There. Timetable? Well, we're going to timetable it the same as the cobalt line. So we're still going to have half hour buses. Got to keep people moving now. It's not necessarily about lots of people moving, it's just about people moving. Right, we're going to mark out this route. And hopefully now, I mean, we might have interchanges with metros going on around this part of the city as well. 
but in general this would be the quickest way to get to a form of transport which will take you to the hub which is what this is all about really it's about getting to the hub and then getting back out again so what it is is Uh, do you know what? No, I'm not going to go down that way. Nor am I going to go down this one. I'm going to take that one off. Yeah, this is about moving people from this part of the city to the hub, this bus hub, onto a trolley, and then into the city that way, into the main hub, and then from there, of course, uh, onto bigger and better things. You know what? I'm not even going to go there. This route has just got a potentially unnecessary extension. We've got to stop there. We've got to stop there. We're then going to come up here. And then we're going to have a final stop. There. Right, so where do we get to? Here. So it's down. Uh, one, two, yep, down, there, 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 and there, and then we go here, and then from here, we go back to the depot, like so, and here comes the first bus now. There it is, you can see it's quite a big bus actually big bendy bus. be interesting to see how the big bendy bus handles these hairpin bends. Because that actually looks... That's alright actually, it's not too bad. I was hoping it wouldn't be ugly looking, and it doesn't seem to be. Wow. Those bus shelters on slopes look really funny. And not necessarily in a good way. But yeah, that's the loop completed. Or one loop completed. There's a couple of passengers dotted around waiting to go on board the bus. Uh, not expecting it to be overly popular, but as a start, it's not bad. However, that's only one berth filled in this hub. We have three more to go. And we also have, bear in mind that this part of the city will be expanded as well. We'll save a couple for that. In fact, we might even not use any more of these for now. Let's take this opportunity now to have a look at our metro because I'm starting to think that the idea I originally had was okay and the idea that I've since replaced it with is even better so this metro line here is a four track I also believe it is is it four underground? It'll be three underground at this point, I reckon. And it'll run all the way south through this part of the city. However, here, at this point, it will actually break off into... Uh, where's the... There it is. It'll break off into a, an interchange station. So let's mark that out like that. And then we go back to four track. And we'll start poodling along, literally in a straight line, like this, uh, all the way over here, like so, keep going in a straight line, until we get to about here, I'd say about there, and then we'll have another interchange station carry us under this road like so. I'd say about there. And then four track again. Now it'll take us underneath How are we gonna build this bit? Like this I guess. And then under to there and then up. 
to there. So that's that bit done. That all looks lovely. Uh, we then go into the one track. How long is this? I'd say like that and then it's a bit shallow. Like that. work. I still think that looks a bit shallow. About there. That looks better. And then we'll do the same on this side. Well, that one looks too deep. Something like that. That's a good interchange station. Uh, and then down this end. Where is it? Here it is. We'll do the exact same thing. So about there, loop it round, and about there, and loop it, ooh, about there, loop it round. One more time, there, nope, there, and loop it round. Brilliant. Now, we break out this piece, and we do our... Is that going to work? It is, but not how we want it to. So, we scrap that. We'll go up the line a little bit. Now, they both break off just the express line. Oh, if I built it like that. I suppose that could work if I did it like that. If I went like this and then, or just say like that and then brought it round, or alternatively, I could have done this properly the first time. Um. That works, and then so what I'm worried about is the space we've wasted here doing this. So the other option is build. Let me think. I know what we could do. I know what we could do. We could build a brand new depot, say here, and have a whole new loop come from that. And then it will connect to this bit here. Actually, that's probably not going to be a good idea either. Let's, let's. Let's try and solve this, shall we? Hmm. Wait, I keep losing where it is. Right, it's here. It's underneath this avenue, which is actually very, very close to the main tram line. It's also, it's roughly just over halfway between the monorail and the tram. Which is not a bad interchange place. I mean, this is this itself is in a very good interchange spot. It's got very good potential. What we have to do is find a way of actually being able to link it. So express trains pick up passengers, will come tootling through here, straight over this junction. Still not quite happy with how that's worked out, but there you go. Um, straight along here into this station, and then from this station break out into a loop. Let's try this one last time. 
The only thing I'm concerned about is how much space we're wasting trying to get this line to turn back round like that. And although we've got some good ground covered from this trolley line, I think overall we're actually missing out quite a lot. Put these whoops, these stops in. So we'll have one there, one there, one directly next door, and one there. So what we could do from here is have another line, separate line, that runs underneath. Alternatively, we could have a one track line that does it. What happens if I break that off? Again, it's just the express line that does that. And that's not what we want. We want both tracks branching off. So I think we're going to have to go for the separate separate track idea. Uh, let's put these platforms in as well, whilst I remember. So that one there, that one, that one, and that one. Another big interchange station. I like how you can swap tracks coming out but not going in. Because now trains on this line kind of want to go into this line if I wanted them to do that, but they can't. But I suppose they can do it on the out. Eh. It's not something I'm going to lose sleep over, let's put it that way. Alright, and that slopes up again after going under the river. Now there's, there was going to be an interchange here. The track was going to run underneath. So I guess we could end up with a completely separate line. Ugh. I just I, I want this to work. I really want this to work. I'm sure you guys want this to work as well. How much space am I going to miss out on? I'm going to cut this whole corner off quite literally in doing this unless I move this station back a little bit. What if I was to do that? Might do that instead. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Yeah, it's saying can't build in the water. I think I've boo booed here quite badly. I don't know, maybe not. So I can bring that up to there. How steep is that? Oh, that's steep. Me oh my, that's steep. I suppose I could always have this as a, a deeper... See, that's saying can't build in the water again. How deep is this line? eight under. So I can do that and then build this to go along to let's say there. Let's delete all this. What the hell? What on earth? I have no idea what's just happened there. That has completely bugged out. That has completely bugged out. That's really weird. I don't like that. Does that mean that all of this is bugged out as well? There 
it appears so. Okay, let me try saving this and reloading it and just in case let me try reloading this and see what it does I can see in a minute I'm gonna to have to end this episode so I can then go off camera and redo all the work I've done uh, without completely horsing it up right Let's just see what this has done first. If it's still bugged out, then yeah, I'm gonna have to do that. Okay, zoom in. Ah, good. It's all gone. Fantastic. Okay. Right. So now from here. Oh, that bit's still there. Oh, you are kidding me. Is it really not gonna let me delete that? And yet it lets me get rid of all these shelters, just not that. Seriously? It's seriously going to do that, is it? Oh, now that is broken. That is so broken. What about over here, then? This end seems to have worked. Let's delete a few buildings in the process, but this end seems to have worked. So let's just build from this end. Like that, and then from here. What? That end is... right, okay. Tell you what. I'm just going to link them like that. the hell's happened here now then? That bit still seems to exist. So that's now gone. That bit still exists. Can't seem to get rid of that bit though. That bit's still there. I just deleted that bit. Is that just going to keep coming back? Oh wow. Right. I'm going to delete that bit. Tell you what, guys, I'm going to fix this off camera. So when we come back next time, we should have a fully, properly working thing again. So uh, until next time, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, be sure to click the subscribe button. If you have already subscribed to my channel, thank you guys for your continued support. And until next time, I will see you soon.